Hello everyone, today a session to work mostly on the upper body and the abs but trying to make a progression um, that's more for the people who uh, cannot yet hold the plank, hold some sets of push-ups then we will try to progressively go into it and this session will be, let's say, a session to repeat week after week uh, until you manage to do a longer plank, longer push-up sets. Um, then let's start by some warm-up of the shoulders. Then we're going to start by holding the shoulder, top of the shoulders, and we are holding, try to uh, move the shoulder up, forward, backward, back, up, up, forward, back. And we're rolling and rolling it. And we go opposite direction. Open up. Give more mobility, more range of movement. Try to gain a few degrees in this shoulder. Good. Now, a bit of rotation from the hips and also from the shoulder. And the left arm comes over. Imagine you are paddling on your kayak. A good rotation from the hips, a good extension of the shoulders. And we activating everything. Try to have a good position with your feet on the ground, really stable. And we're rotating. And now we're going backward. Really opening up the chest, the shoulders, the hips. Don't forget to rotate your hips. Good. And we're starting with some simple exercises to mobilize the shoulders. Um, let's start with the arm is parallel with the ground. And we're going to go up and down. We go for 12 repetitions. Up and down. We stay on the same frame. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Eight. Number nine. Number ten. Good, relax a bit. If 12 is too many, you do only 8. You should be really opening the chest, the, the pain. The workout should be really the top of the shoulder, top of the back. You should really open up everything. And now, a bit the same, just a bit differently. We're starting with the hands up and then we're going down. Trying to be in the same frame as the body. One. Two. My elbows stay at the same level. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eleven, twelve. Good. Now I can really feel the top of the shoulder has been working, top of the back. That's very good. That's what we want. Another one. Another one. We're opening the arms big. Imagine you're holding something. The length of your arms, imagine a huge medicine ball, a huge sweets ball, and we're gonna put our arms on top of it. Imagine now you're in a diving position, streamline, back around the ball, and holding it from the bottom. That's one. All around, 
back to the bottom, that's two. All around to the top and down, that's three. We go for 12 like that. Four. And here everything hiking in my shoulder on the lead. That's good, means that I'm stretching. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Really good. Good. Now I can really feel I've been walking out, especially with the back of the shoulder. The the top of the lower of the back. That's exactly what we want. Okay, let's relax a bit from the shoulder, a rotation from the hips. You can always gain a bit in this mobility. You can hold with your thumb, you can hold the, your tailbone, just the top of the tailbone, and we're rotating. Right to left, left to right, front to back, back to front, we rotate. Good. Okay, holding a bit higher, or a bit just top of the ribs, and now we will turn the neck. Let's go clockwise. It's okay if it's cracking, really good, some good stretch. Spend your time to Go down, go on the side, go on the back, and you go on deeper quiet. Hold your ribs, like this you're moving only your neck. Good. And we, again, the hips, like put your thumb on the table and rotate your hips. Good. Let's go back into the shoulders. Then now, the arms are parallel with the ground. And we're gonna go small circle forward. And we rotate. Small circle. Try to stay tall, lift your chest. And you I remind you that this session is really to help you to go into more strength in your shoulder, more flexibility. Uh, that's going to help you to have heavy workout in the future. Okay. It's really, uh, let's say, a level up session. Keep it up. If it's burning, you keep going a bit. Hold it if it's burning. You can take a little pause, relax a bit the arms, and you back into it. Relax a bit. And we're going backward. Small rotation. Straight arm. Relaxed core of the body, it's only the shoulders doing the job. Now it's burning, it's burning for me. Then I will relax a bit and I'm back into it. Very good. Burning, we hold it. We hold it, keep your arms straight, point your finger, and we relax. Good. Left hand on the right shoulder, between the scapula and the 
the shoulder and we rotate big rotation big rotation smaller rotation smaller rotation We are working with the right arm, back one, small rotation. Hold it. Very good. Medium rotation. You're holding it. And big rotation. Good. Left. Right hand. Finger between scapula and shoulder, and we go big rotation. That should be nice. A bit of cracking, that's good. And we go medium rotation. And small rotation, very small, very small. And backward, small rotation. Medium rotation backward. And big rotation back. Good. Ready again. Then we're going to push up position. We need a bench. I'm gonna put the hands on the bench. The body the, we try to have the hands just under the shoulders. Okay, we don't want to be with the shoulders behind the the hands, we want to be bringing the chest on top of the hands. Okay, we hold it here. Hold this plant position. Really good. Hold it a bit longer. Try to be really solid with the hands straight under the shoulder. And I would like you with your abs, with your core, that you push it out. Try to make your belly really big. Try to push your lower back out. Push out on your core. Should be shaking. Push even harder. And we are lights. Good. That's a non trailer bed. Okay, to hold your body in a nice plank position with strong arms, okay, the hands under the shoulder. Now, we're gonna progressively go into push ups. Okay, then put your hands under the shoulder again, pushing your core out, and we're gonna start with one push up only. And we're going down, you try to keep your elbow close to your ribs. Going down, touching the bench, and up. Good. And you relax. Back into position. Hands under shoulders, and we're going to go for two. One. And two. And we rest. I'm gonna go up like that, up to five. Okay? Now we're gonna go up to three. One, two, three. Good. Take a break. Number four. One, two, 
three, four. Good. We have one more. We're going down to five now. Five push up in a row with the hands on the bench. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Pretty good. That's a really good start. You're gonna stay there with when you come to the upper body and um, chest and shoulder. We're gonna keep the bench. Now we're gonna work a bit more on your core with some plank exercise. Then, we're putting the elbow on the bench. We're going to plank position with the elbow on the bench. And we're holding it. We're holding the position 20 more ago. I would like you to push your core out. Try to bring the bring all the stress from the shoulder down to your to your core, to your abs. Three, two, one, and we relax. Good. Okay, instead of having the stress from the shoulder, side shoulder, front shoulder, try to bring everything down, push your core out, make the big belly, okay? And that's where you will hold everything. We go again. Now we go for 30 seconds. Then in position, the elbow under the shoulders, <coughs> and we're holding it. If it's too easy for you, then you going on your toes, the top of your toes and down, top of your toes and down. Ten more seconds. Good. Well, for sure, now we're going up to 45 seconds. Then, exactly the same. Holding it. A light shoulder. Everything. Hold by the deep abs muscles. Okay, here we go. We go for 45 seconds. If it's too easy for you, I told you go, hold on your toes, you can lift one leg, then you're working really more on one side, you can lift the other leg. You keep it at 15 more seconds. Hold it. Five. I'm pushing out my core, trying to make big belly, and we relax. Good. Pretty good. Pretty good start. That's really a level one, ready to make you uh, get into it. But you will probably have to spend a few weeks just repeating this exercise one, two, three times per week. Then we'll be able to, to get into more difficult exercise. Then we're putting the two hands on the bench, like when we were doing our push up position. Okay, my shoulder on top of the hands. Good. And then we will rotate on the side and open. And we hold it. We hold it and back. And we do the other side. If it's too easy, you take a bench a bit lower. If it's too easy with the bench a bit lower, then you just take a dictionary and you put your hand on the dictionary 
a little step. This is the fourth rotation. Strong shoulders will really help you. Catching more water, extending further, having a, a higher frequency in your, in your stroke. You're gonna gain a lot by having strong shoulders. On top of that now, we're also working on, on the core. Then that's perfect combo. Good. And we relax. Good. We go one step further now, elbow on the bench. Elbow on the bench. Try to have a good plank. We're not pulling up, but up a nice plank and we're holding on the side and we're holding it should be hard on your bottom side really hard that's what's holding everything shoulder on top of the elbow we're not dropping the hips down we're really holding it a nice plank if it's too easy try to lift a bit your upper leg and uh, and we're changing side Control everything, don't drop your hips. Good, and we change side. Ending again. We have one more change. Here we are. Open everything. Try to lift the leg without dropping the hip. And down. Good. Up to center. Good. Very good. Let's finish with a bit of abs. Like this, we have been activating shoulder, core, a bit of abs. Then we're gonna start on your back. On your back, put your hands on the side of your glutes. Here, legs down. And try to really push out your core out like that. You don't have any gap in your lower back. We're bringing the feet to the chest. We're lifting the feet up and down slowly, trying to keep your lower back on the floor. And back on the chest. Up. Don't make any arch with your lower back. Two more. Last one. Good. Put your feet close to your butt. Put your hands inside of your head. And we're lifting the torso with the abs. We're not pulling on, your, on our neck. This is the, the abs pulling our torso up. We do a few crunches like that. Keeping the lower back on the floor when we're going down. And 
Three more. One more. Good. We're finishing with on your side. Straight arm. Let your let your head go down. The top hand on your side of the head. Then we're lifting the top leg. We're bringing the leg to the elbow, and the elbow is coming to the to the knee, and we're touching. That's a level one. Crunching. Level two will be lifting the leg off the ground. Try it. Level three will be bringing both legs. Do three more. And you're choosing the one you want. Good. Changing side. Okay. Straight arm. Level one. And just lifting the top leg and crunching. That should be quite easy, but if it's already some pain, then keep staying at the stay at this level for a few sessions. Level two, we're lifting the lower leg. Three boss leg. I go for five like that. One more to finish. Good. Good. Good workout. Good way to start the new strength program. If you've never done any or if you have done it a long time ago, then keep this session in your bookmarks, in your favorites, and twice a week, three times a week, repeat, 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 and that will be the best way to reach the next level and gain a lot for your uh, sporty life. I hope you enjoyed. I see you around. Bye-bye.